being pregnant after a miscarriage kind of robbed us of some of like the joy mm -hmm. and I had like a breakdown. Yeah. Like I was like you sobbing did. and did not want to do it. Hi. Why? No lash appointments for the trip. Oh, Allie's there's none. Trying to get her eyelashes done, you know? She likes to get those lashes done. So I done. stopped getting them done, but I realized it makes me look sleeping and I'm already so tired that anything that can help me look normal is nice. Hello everybody, welcome back to the vlog. It's a new video. Hello! Complaining right off the bat. <laughs> you get a free pass. You can complain all you want because uh, you are growing but to I'm humans. I'm so happy to have a dog. Are we so happy we have a Rosie? Yes! I love all my animals so much. I know. They're the best in the whole world. I think we do have the best animals. In we the do. Whole world. Actually, I love all animals. Oh, Elsie somebody here. else is here. Hi. That was I the love weirdest every kiss animal. I've ever and done. every new dog I meet, like every dog at the park we meet, I always say, I love it so much. I wish it was mine. I know. I just love all animals. And oh. I know we've said this before. We've said no more animals, but I can almost guarantee now no that more. three dogs and two cats is enough when we have twins on the way. It's just enough without twins even. Yeah, it is. Because although there's always someone who I needs I did suggest to Allie that I think we need one more doodle. No. There is something special about a doodle. A doodle is just But we're a going to be breed. a family of two moms, two babies, two do uh, the golden retrievers, two cats, and one <laughs> Elsie. Doodle. Just one doodle? We need one oh, but more. But you know she what? A friend. Elsie, one Elsie is like Look, 17. She says, I need friends. She's like having 55 Rosie dogs. Tails. And the rest are like having no dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Rosie's like, I require no maintenance even though I'm a baby. Look at her. And Elsie's like, I require high All maintenance. All the maintenance even every minute I'm of every day. Baby. Ugh. And if you look at me and say, hey, Sam, why do you have these little pieces of hair all of a sudden sticking out? Cause there's a few, so, like see, short. No, I didn't get a haircut. I uh, cut my hair. It's long. What? It's long. It is very long. But I uh, cut my hair with nail clippers, impulsively in the bathroom. I actually haven't got my hair cut since the pandemic started. So this is uh, like two years of growth. <laughs> it feels so weird to be starting the vlog in the afternoon. But I am having some coffee. Typically, we start the vlogs at the start of the day. So I feel very weird that it is currently, if you're curious, 2.30 in the afternoon and we're just saying hi. I am drinking coffee. This is my only coffee of the day. I'm trying to cut back on coffee, not because of the caffeine, but because I don't really like coffee. I've told you all this before. I like sugar. Um, so I put so much sugar in my coffee. It's not good for me. Also, I am anticipating when the twins are born, I will be back a uh, regular coffee drinker because how much sleep are we going to get? Let's be real. We have no clue. We actually are starting an online course that is specific for twins. So I'm sure they will talk about sleep in that class. I'm very curious about how much sleep we can anticipate. Like how much are twins on the same schedule? I've never taken care of newborn twins, so I don't know. In my head, I can foresee one baby being up and then the other baby sleeping, and then as soon as this baby goes to sleep, this one wakes up, and it's just constantly like that, so we'll find out. I'm really excited about the course. I will tell you about it later once we're a little further into it, just um, so I can tell you if it's good or bad, if it's worth it, if it's not worth it. Allie is pregnant. Yes. How many times am I going to say that? I don't okay, know no. if people watch oh, okay. our, like, every one of our videos. Right, or if they're just randomly here. Randomly here. Well, they'll get the hint of. They'll get yes. The so let's talk about pregnancy after loss, after a miscarriage. So we had a miscarriage in December. Yeah, December, and we jumped right into another transfer. Right into another transfer. For me. Yes, so I'm so tired all the time, I can't stay awake. <laughs> I needed time to heal. Also, I don't think emotionally I would have been ready for a transfer. No, I don't think so. 
partially I know that for a fact because so yes. I had started the medication to do another frozen embryo transfer even though Allie had got a positive pregnancy test because we were scared because we were absolutely terrified so I had started the meds so that if something was wrong or something went wrong, I could go ahead with another transfer. Mm -hmm. And I had like a breakdown. Yeah. Like I was like you sobbing did. and did not want to do it. I did. I did start taking the meds. I have since canceled that transfer because we're pregnant with twins. <laughs> yeah. But I think being pregnant after a miscarriage kind of robbed us of some of like the joy of early pregnancy because we were so worried. Oh my god. Up until the eight week ultrasound, like we weren't excited. At no. All. Like, not at all. Which sounds horrible because you think that after trying for so long, getting a positive pregnancy test would make us so happy, but really yeah. it just kind of filled me with dread because I knew what we had to lose. Yeah, it was awful. And like I think that a lot of people feel the same way. Probably mm -hmm. everybody who's gone through it. Because I always had seen things like that, and then I never really, like, registered it, you know, because it's, mm -hmm. like, something you never experienced. But then you think back, and you're like, oh, my gosh, so many people have talked about this. And, yeah, it's, it's not fun, to be honest, because you don't get the happiness. Yeah. You're just worried all the time. Yeah. I feel yeah. like now that we are ten and a half weeks. Yeah, and we've seen them twice. starting to go away a little and I'm yeah. more excited than I am fearful yeah I'm definitely still fearful I'm definitely still terrified that something will go wrong and we will lose like one or both of them but I'm more excited now because in the yeah. beginning it was just like a hundred percent fear and anxiety yeah exactly we I think we got to a point where we were like it sucks to live like that. Like, you may as well not, if you can. <laughs> Easier said than done. But, like, live I think like it just got to a point where I was like, no, I don't want to live like that. Like, that's not fun anymore. Yeah. Well, it was so, never fun. No, it was never fun. But it just, like, something switched. And I was like, there's no option to be anxious anymore. Mm -hmm. You just have to be excited. Or, like, accept. I think acceptance yeah. is the biggest thing. Just knowing the stats, like knowing okay like the chances of something happening now is actually very low and just keeping that in mind and yeah. that's all you can really do and just knowing that it's hard and that it's okay to not just feel positive emotions it's okay to be scared and it's okay to be anxious and fearful that those are all okay things to feel but we definitely felt all of those things. Yeah, and if you have some animals, it actually helps a they lot. They do help a lot. Maybe I mean, like... actually, we got Rosie. Where's Rosie? She was just here. We got Rosie when we miscarried. Yeah. We'd been wanting another puppy for a while, and we both said no because we were going to have a baby. And then when you got pregnant, we were like, definitely, definitely not. not. And so then... We got a puppy got and a puppy then and got then, yeah. pregnant with twins. <laughs> so now we are 10 weeks pregnant with twins and have a four-month-old puppy. It's great, though. She's awesome. We yes. love her and we love all the pets so much. Say hi to Rosie! Ah! Rosie loves her mom. She loves to give so many kisses. <laughs> She's a really big kisser. Oh, hi, baby! <laughs> She loves kisses. That's Ferguson. Mommy's snuggling She's Ferguson. So happy. Are you jealous? Yes, I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, mom's turn. Mom's turn. Yeah, hi. People are gonna be like, that's so gross. You let your dog look your face. Yeah, I do. I sure do. So something that we've also found helpful other than the pets throughout this and being open and just honest of how we feel is and the, therapy and therapy is the expectful app. If you don't know what the expectful app is, it's basically this wealth of information of holistic care for moms. It's for hopeful moms, expecting moms and new moms. Yeah. So it's been a resource for us throughout the whole journey, like as we were doing fertility treatments and then now that we're pregnant and then hopefully later when we are new moms and needing resources. Yes, which I'm sure we will need. Expectful offers everything from guided meditations to virtual events to one-on-one -on -one meetings with professionals. They have so many different types of resources. I'm a huge fan of guided meditations. Yes, you love them. Whereas like for me, I'm not into meditation as much, but I find, so there's all these categories you can click. I'm really into fitness. So there's actually live classes you can do, and if you miss them, you can watch them back. We are also going to take a hypnobirthing course that they yes. have on there. I'm just like, I'm just interested to know what it 
is not necessarily going to be doing head over thing i just maybe want to I listen will. maybe i will so i'm actually really excited to learn about it and then there's also a feeding and lactation whole section where you can actually attend office hours with professionals and ask them your questions which you might be interested in later so we also have these affirmation cards from expectful called the inspired mama and it's all of these cards with some affirmations so you could really use them however you want but they're just a nice little reminder of like i'm healthy i'm able to do this and on hard days which there can be lots of these are a nice little tool we have been using the Expectful app for a while, so we have been able to utilize it as TTC mamas, as people yep. trying to conceive, trying to get pregnant, and now we're using it as people that are pregnant. Yes. I still say we're pregnant, even though it's just Well, yeah, that's, that's how you say it. And also, then it'll transition with us when we are new moms and needing all of the information. And I love that there are different parts of the app for where you're at in your journey, because yeah. Motherhood's a journey. Yes, and it's nice that it can grow with you and you can use one app for all of the things. Yes. So if you haven't, oh. We were gonna say the same thing. So <laughs> if you haven't checked it out and you are on some part of this journey, definitely check it out. It's really helped us throughout the whole journey and hopefully it can help you out as well. Yeah. Time for a little unboxing. This is not at all sponsored, I yes. bought this. <laughs> what is this, what Ellie? What is it? It's not from Pets. What is it? It is my pregnancy pillow. Who got it for you? You. I know, I'm such a good wife. I said, what's you? So this is I just the one I wanted. So I got it for you because it's what I wanted. Okay. Can I sit with you while you unbox it? Oh, I suppose, Lizzie, but you cannot steal it in there. I probably will steal it in there, though. All right, I am shocked that it came in such a small box. I know. It must be like vacuum packed. I'll, uh, I'm, I'm opening somewhere. it. You asked me to open I it. I know, I'm just so excited about it. Is it for you? Uh, you know who's going to use this the Snoopy most? Snoopy D. Snoopy D. Actually, LC. Oh, yeah. Who will use it the most? What? What is it, Snoopy G? Got that what is it, Peanut? Oh. Oh. A pillow. A pillow oh. for Snoopy? Well, All right, this so this is the pillow. It's multi-purpose. Unzips and oh. comes off. So you For can, Elsie! <laughs> if it's too big, look, you don't need to use oh. this part. Or you could put this part between your legs. There's lots of different options. Oh, that's cool. So there you go. I'm so Ellie excited. is already to the point where she would like her pregnancy pillow. You poor yeah. thing. Pregnant with twins. It's a whole other thing, eh? It is. How have you been sleeping? Not very good, actually. Mm -hmm. Mostly because I have two dogs on my head. That's the biggest reason. Rosie and Elsie mm -hmm. both they sleep, sleep on the on pillows, pillows. But we also sleep on the pillows. So, like, and I also get insomnia in the nights for a bit. Yeah, that's a pregnancy thing, right? So, it's fine. But maybe I should do meditations in the night. You go sleep should. once. Also, the cover zips off. Oh, that's nice if, if the dogs get it dirty, which they will. So, what do you think of it? I think I like it, but I don't know yet. Excuse the way that I look, um, I just finished a spin class. We got Good a job. new spin bike. So, Peloton. Yeah. Peloton. So, We're just trying it out. We don't that know what it. is what I just did and why I look like this. But Allie decided that she wanted Mexican pregnancy craving. Um, that's not weird. So we had, I got burrito bowl. Delicious. Normal. Um, what is not normal and we need to <laughs> document is she said, look what else I got. <laughs> Chocolate milk. I have been with Allie for almost eight years and I have never seen her drink milk. No, I don't drink milk. I, I don't drink milk. I only drink, um, I would never drink a glass of milk, but no, I only have use, oat milk. You use oat or I use yeah, almond. Really, I I have cream in my coffee and stuff. I like I'm not against never, dairy. I just we used to be vegan, but we're not. Well, yeah, well, I'm against dairy. As a whole, I am. I just we don't do it. Yeah, uh, I have <laughs> never seen you drink milk. And then she whips out this chocolate milk, and so she's been thinking of it all day. All day thinking of it because I That's I used weird. to have it every Sunday morning at the Dixie Lee. This is actually me from the future and Rosie. <laughs> oh my god, she's so big. <laughs> Uh, I was, oh, and Lily and Elsie, everybody's here. I forgot to share this with you. 
I got to see the babies for the first time in person. And not the dog babies. <laughs> Was going to make an entire vlog about an entire vlog about this, but then I wasn't allowed to vlog, so I can't. But you all know that I wasn't allowed to go into our eight week ultrasound, which is when we found out that we were having twins and I didn't get to see them. I only got to FaceTime. God, they're cute. We decided to book a private ultrasound and it was amazing, but I wasn't allowed to vlog, but I do have pictures. Elsie, stop. I do have pictures, so I can show you that. What even is this? It is a literal zoo and the babies aren't even born yet. So we went to a local ultrasound clinic. This is the only photo that we have of both babies and I will explain what you're seeing. So these are two sacs. They are dye dye twins, which means dye chorionic, dye amniotic, I think. So they have their own placentas and their own amniotic sacs, two of everything in there. And this is actually the top of their heads. The only angle that we're able to see both babies at the same time right now is if you go from the top of their heads, because of just the way they're positioned in there. So this is the top of their little heads. And then let's see who we have here. This is baby A. Let me see if I can point out what you're seeing. So this is their little head and that is their little feet. And then this is a better photo of them. So again, that's their little head, that's their little feet, that's their little arm. These were taken at nine weeks. How many days? Um, nine and a half weeks. Yeah. We are now 10 and a half weeks. I'm a little late showing you. This is baby A again. So head, feet, you can really see. They were sleeping and really calm. This was our calm baby during the ultrasound. And we got to, for the first time ever, hear the heartbeats. So this is like the wave. Um, but she put on a speaker and we were able to hear their little hearts. And it was so cute. We don't have as many photos of baby B. We just bought every photo they took. Um, you had to pay for them. But we bought all of them and then just realized that they didn't take many photos of baby B. So this is baby B. So that is their head. That is their body. And their limbs were going everywhere. They were having a full-on dance party in there. So we watched them a lot because they were like moving and grooving and having a good time. And then we heard their heartbeat too. When you're looking at just one baby, you don't see the other baby at all. Like, I don't know how that magic trick works, but I think it's because they're side by side. I don't know, because uh, they're in the same position, so there's their little heads. But isn't that cool? I can't believe we're having twins. It was so wonderful getting to go in and actually see them and hear their heartbeats. We were absolutely terrified for this. We regretted it as soon as we had to walk into the clinic because we were so scared of what if something's wrong. Um, but there was nothing wrong. Everything looked great. There were two little moving little babies in there uh, with nice strong heartbeats. One's heartbeat was, so baby A's heartbeat was lower. Theirs was 161 baby's heartbeats in the womb were very high. And then baby B's heartbeat was a lot faster. Well, not a lot faster, it was 166. So, I got to see the babies. I thought I would share that with you guys because I thought it was such a wonderful experience. And again, I wanted to do a whole vlog on it and then it said uh, no cameras allowed. No so, cameras allowed. no cameras. Do you want to come and vlog? Must buy our photos. Must buy our photos. Oh. Wow. Let's end it with an affirmation card from Expectful. <laughs> Ready? This says, I have everything my baby needs to be happy. I actually really needed to hear that because I've been very overwhelmed uh, in life about th them out of the womb and all the things that I feel like they need. I know. I spent six Just hours. Just get through the womb first. I know. I spent six oh, hours nice. a, uh, researching strollers. <clears throat> six hours. I decided within the first 30 minutes which stroller I wanted, but then I kept second guessing myself. I measured every doorway in our house. I, it was very intense. Um, so really though, they don't need much. They only need moms to love them and yeah, something to eat. Oh, 
They also need dogs. <laughs> Must love dogs. Must love dogs. Oh, they just saw how wild the dogs were. I will show myself Grace as a new mother. There, that's for you. That, that's actually two things These that I really needed. You. Yeah. Let's see. I trust that my baby is safe and healthy. You have lettuce in your teeth. <laughs> I ate. I was just I better eat some more. You better. <laughs> I haven't. There's stuff in my belly. Can't yeah. fit any more in there. That is where we will leave today's video. Our lettuce teeth. Our lettuce teeth and our very loud cardigans together. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys back here for another video soon. See you soon. Okay. Bye.